you know, exactly. it's, it's so dope. And people really need to listen to this part of the story because this is the grind, man. Like, people it is, bro. In I, couldn't, I couldn't see none of this. I couldn't see nothing when I was doing all that. I didn't know. I, I had no, saw no, I, I did see light. I'm not going to say I saw light. I just, I, I was surrounded by light. So I'm like, there has to be light here. Like, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, like, I'm going the right way. There's no need for me to go to the streets for, for, for what, what niggas is, you know, what I'm doing right now, you know, to, to, to help me survive what I'm doing right now. That's not it. That's not it. I know that's not it. I know this Home Depot. I know that's that job. That's not it. What I'm doing for free. That th everybody telling me you shouldn't be working like that for free for niggas. And they just, they rich all around you. They just being rich in front of you, nigga. You just broke. I'm like, I don't, you know what? I'm gonna stay right here. And I end up, it ended yep. up turning into a into a you know a money maker my damn self, you know. So I was like, I felt like I was hanging with eagles. And I felt, you know, you hang with eagles, eventually you're gonna you're gonna start sprouting eagle wings too. Yep, you're gonna soar. You you exactly. you hang you hang with eagles, you eventually you're gonna soar. You gonna learn exactly. to fly and you gonna soar. Um exactly. yo, how, how did you eventually get your job and how long did you intern? Uh I interned for like I think I interned for three, maybe two years. Two two straight years, and then I two straight up years up. unpaid. Well, they start paying me a little bit towards the end when I start bringing records in, and um, mm -hmm. I used to, I used to come in. I was playing records for um, just just uh, first I started like listening to stuff on Mark's desk that he wasn't listening to, and I I'll be listening to it in the corner, and I'll, I'll go get stuff off Daryl Jones' desk that he wasn't listening to. They gave me permission, so I would be there all night. Like they would leave. They know I was there. They could call me and I was still at the office. So I'd just be up there listening to records. I ain't got nothing else to do. I don't know nobody in New York like that, you know, except little friends that I got on the side. So, and then I just, it just started going up from there, bro. It's kind of like, I, uh, I I don't know if you remember this, but we used to, at Arista, they used to have those uh, limousine passes where they would yep. come pick you up. And so I used to be used to the train. So niggas showed me how to fill out the pass when I, when it was time for work. So I, I, I started getting the black car, started pulling up for me. So I was like, I'm, I'm jumping in the black of the black car. I'm like, intern, nigga, I, the niggas ride through the hood in the black car. They like, oh, you turn into an executive. I started getting that feeling like, nigga, I'm an executive. Nigga, what y'all talking about? So that's, the, then I started playing, uh, mark these records. I, uh, they sent me to go work with the young bloods. They was like, Cameron's like, you know what? You want you want to, you want a little you want a little test you want a test run you want to do an A and R job I was like yes so she put me with the young bloods they like who is this nigga y'all yeah so y'all y'all don't mess with us like that y'all gonna give us an intern as A and R so I was like <laughs> I was like listen bro don't worry about it I was like I'm from the south I know y'all music I know everything so I'm the best one to do this and they was like all right come on they was like this don't work we're gonna hurt you dude I was like whoo all right. So we start working. We get Lil John. I get I, I get Lil John. Lil John was getting hot at the time, and I I kind of found his number on somebody's desk, Mark or Daryl Jones' desk, and I called Lil John. He was like, I was like, I told him I was an A and R, which I wasn't yet, but I just told him I was, and he ended up coming and uh, coming to the studio. I set up the set up the session. JD JD Jermaine Dupree had just did a deal with uh, Arista. And J and J JD is the is the reason I got with the Young Bloods. He talked to Karen. Karen talked to him. They said, let him try it. JD was like, all right, I'm gonna put you with the young bloods. We go to Atlanta. Lil John, we all in the studio trying to come up with this hook for the song for the songs. And we already had most of the album done. And then all of a sudden somebody, Bo Hagen, walks in and says, if you don't give a damn, we don't give a fuck. So everybody, Lil John's like, and everybody turned like, that's the hook, nigga. So we put the hook on, do the record. We don't give a damn, we don't give a fuck. So I end up getting they was like, all right, here you go. I was like, all right. So I go to JD. I'm like, JD, I got I'm gonna play you some stuff, you know. And I play, I give him the records and he like, he's listening to them in my face him and Brian Cox and they just sitting all sitting there listening. And he, then JD turned around, he's like, uh, he's like, this is a hit. And I was like, it's a what? And he's like, it's a hit. <laughs> 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 it's a hit. I'm like, 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 like it's going to work. Like, he's like, this is it. Watch this. And I was like, oh, all right. So I go in the restroom. I'm in, we had a, uh, uh uh, what is damn Southside Southside Studio? We go and I go in the restroom, nigga. I swear to God, I'm in there doing a whole touchdown dance in the bathroom by myself, nigga. I'm like, nigga, said I had a hit, nigga. So that's how it happened. I come out normal face. All right, go back to New York. JD starts the record up, getting the record out there. So, so I'm like, I'm like just watching the shit just get bigger and bigger, and they like looking at me like, they like you did your thing. You came back with the fucking, you came back with the hit. I was like, what? Mark is like. 
wow, you went in there, you, okay, okay, okay. I was like, I'm almost not an intern no more, sir. So y'all get so ready. So hold on, even at this time, you still you still are an intern. Still you intern, still-, still intern, still unpaid, like still unpaid, but it's a hit outside, it's a hit brewing. So that's when LA was like, yo, wh- where did this record come from? What's going on? And Karen and JD is like, Memphis, uh, the intern from Memphis, he came back with that. So LA looking at me like, because I, I first I couldn't even come into meetings. I, I was just sitting outside the meeting, and I was sitting outside the meeting one day. And Karen came. L.A. looked out the meeting and saw me sitting there. I was supposed to be everybody was supposed to be gone, but they was having an A&R meeting. L.A. was like sent Karen out there, and Karen was like, "L.A. is like you, you're weirding him out. Why are you just sitting out here, <laughs> sitting out here looking in the meeting?" And I was like, "I was just trying to listen to him talk. I, I just want to hear what he, what y'all saying. Uh, that's all I'm doing." And she went back and told him that, and she, and that's when L.A. said, "Tell him to come in here. He can sit in the meetings." He's like, "That that was the best answer I ever heard." So they let me in the meeting. She's like, but don't talk. Don't say nothing. So I used to just be in the A&R meeting with Mark and everybody and all the people that I usually interning and slaving for. Now I'm sitting in the corner in the A&R meeting just not talking. And one day when, when L.A. was like, where does record come from? That's when Karen pointed at me. She was like, OK, you can talk. And I was like, I just told him how I put the record together. And he was like, what? And, and that, it kind of went from there, bro. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.